اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وہو اللذی خلق السماوات والارض بالحق and he is the one who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created the heavens and the earth with truth what does it mean truth here means with a purpose this creation is not a purposeless creation Rabbana ma khalaqta haza baatila subhanaka faqina azab al-nar it is a serious creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who cannot do anything without any end without any purpose you can't think about a human being also if he is a normal person that he can do anything without any purpose so how can you imagine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all in vain no results will come out whether you are doing good or you are doing evil it will be all the same equal no you will have to face the results and the day he says be and it is done his word is the truth what does it mean only his saying is decisive he doesn't need anything any means to accomplish something only his saying kun and it becomes that is the difference you know that there is there are some Hindu philosophies who say that even matter was eternally present forever because how could God create something without anything God was there forever and matter was also matter is also Qadeem Paramatma bhi Qadeem matter bhi Qadeem no Quran says he created everything out of nothing. And that is called Ibda or Ijad. But then you know he creates things from other things also. He created man out of clay. He created jinns out of fire. So these things are also interchanging. One creation to another. But he can create and he created in the beginning from nothingness which they call in philosophical terms ex nihilo, creation ex nihilo, creation without anything which was existing prior, priorly, no. Call hul haq, only his command, that is decisive, be and it becomes. Lahul mulk, and for him is the kingdom and sovereignty. To him belongs the sovereignty and kingdom. Yawma yul faqhu fissur, and the day the trumpet will be blown. Alimul Ghaibi was Shahada. He is the knower of all that is unseen and seen. What is visible and what is invisible. For you, he knows everything. Nothing is Ghaib for him. This Ghaib is only with respect to us. Everything is Shahada for him. It's before his eyes. Everything. There's no Ghaib for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But these words are used with respect to and with relation to human beings, creation. For, for us, something is shahada, something is ghaib. Something is visible, something is invisible. But for Allah, everything is visible. Wa huwa al-hakim al And he is all wise, all knowing, aware of everything. Wa istala Ibrahim ule abihi azara. And just recall, when Abraham said to his father Azar, Atattakhidu asnam an alia? What is it? Have you taken these idols as gods? Inni araka wa qawma ka fi zalali mubi? Oh father, I see you and your nation, your people, they are lost in absolute misguidance. These idols, you pray to them, you prostrate before them, you have yourself carved them out of this stone and then you stand, you fold your hands before them, you prostrate before them. Ibrahim 
and in the same way we showed to Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam the working of the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. You know, there is a divine kingdom. And for this divine kingdom, universal kingdom, there is a bureaucracy also. The civil service of this kingdom is the angels who are enforcing divine commands. Only it is invisible. You have a kingdom here, you have a state and a statecraft and people are there who are looking after different aspects of it, managing it. So in the same way, Malukutu Samavati Wadlar, all this universe is being governed and there is the management. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows, as I told you, to prophets Allah discloses some of the ghaib. Otherwise they are just equal to other people. Some of the ghaib, you know, some of the unseen is shown to them. Kazalika Nuri Ibrahim Malakuta Samavati Wadlar. We showed to Ibrahim Malakuta Samavati Wallarud the secrets, the secret working of the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Wale Yakula Bidal Bukirin, so that he becomes from among those who have full conviction. When you have to call other people to Allah, you must have full conviction with you. And because the prophets were sent to call people towards Allah. So they needed the strongest conviction without any iot of doubt. That is why we showed to them the secret working and management of this universe.